In this problem, we're given the following matrices, A, B, and C, and we need to find the following three quantities. Before we do that, let's figure out the order or dimensions of each matrix. Matrix A has two rows and three columns, so it is a two by three matrix. Remember, we always put the rows first. Matrix B also has two rows and three columns, so it is a two by three matrix. And finally, matrix C has three rows and two columns, so its order or dimensions are three by two. In part A, we need to find negative two times matrix C. When you multiply a constant by a matrix, this is called scalar multiplication. And the way you do it is you take your constant or your scalar and you multiply every single element in your matrix by that number or scalar. So what I'm going to get in this case is negative two times negative four is positive eight. Negative two times seven is negative 14. Negative two times five is negative 10. Negative two times negative six is positive 12. Negative two times two is negative four, and negative two times negative one is positive two. So this is the answer to part A. This is negative two times matrix C. Please note, C is a three by two matrix. Negative two C also has three rows and two columns. It is a three by two matrix. So scalar multiplication doesn't change the order or dimensions of your matrix. In part B, we need to find two times matrix A minus three times matrix C. So let's quickly review the rules for adding and subtracting matrices. In order to add or subtract matrices, the order or dimensions of the matrices must be the same. So let's check part B. We need to find two times matrix A. A is a two by three matrix, so two times A is also gonna be a two by three matrix. Matrix C is a three by two matrix, and so 3C is also going to be a 3 by 2 matrix. Are these dimensions or orders the same or different? They're different. So the sum or difference of two matrices of different orders is undefined. So the answer to part B is undefined. Now let's look at part C to see if its answer is going to be defined or undefined. Two times matrix A is going to be a two by three matrix. And three times B is also going to be a two by three matrix. So are these dimensions the same? Yes, so I can definitely complete 2A minus 3B. I need some more room, so let's go on to the next slide. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to find two times matrix A, and then I'm going to add negative three times matrix B to it. The reason I do that is that it's much easier to add in your head than subtract. You make a lot less mistakes. So to do this, I'm going to have two times my matrix A. And then I'm going to add to that, remember, negative three times my matrix B. So now we need to get busy with the arithmetic. Two times one is two, two times seven is 14, two times negative two is negative four. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and 2 times 6 is 12. And I'm going to add to that 
negative 3 times my matrix B. So negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Phew. Okay, moving along. Now all I have to do is add these two matrices. And the way you add matrices is you add corresponding elements. So I'm going to add 2 to 3, get 5. Then I'm adding 14 to 0, I get 14. Negative 4 added to 15 is 11. Then 6 added to negative 18 is negative 12. Negative 6 added to 6 is 0. And lastly, 12 added to a negative 3 is positive 9. So remember, when you add and subtract matrices, you add or subtract corresponding elements. So the answer to 2A minus 3B is this matrix here.